Greetings, traveler. I am Sir Knox, the teller of tales. Would you like to hear one? Before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel as it helps immensely. Like, a ton, actually. Believe it or not, but the overlords at YouTube really seem to value subscribers on new videos for some reason. Anyways, I appreciate it. This one is called, Make Sure to Participate in Session Zeros. Oh yes, this should go without saying, but... I guess there's no but, it's a horror story. Let's find out what happened. Let me start off with a disclaimer. There's a lot of triggering stuff in this story, and it constantly gets worse. Oh, how delightful. I've been a fan of the crab and crispy for a while. Oh, again, there's no Sir Knox. One day, one day, I hope, I dream that the tales of Sir Knox will be mentioned in these posts. But it's always the crab. Or the drake. But not the Knox. Anyways, I digress. But I've never shared my own RPG horror story, until now, because I really need to get this out of my system, where I'm here for you, even if no one else is, unless of course they've all covered it as well. I'm being a bitter Betty, aren't I? Anyways, the cast consists of me as the DM, the party, a Kenku, a centaur, a half-elf, a half-orc, a dragonborn, and halfling. Many years ago, when I started DMing, I wasn't aware of many of the common yes and no's of D&D. Nevertheless, I read through the books determined to run a good and fun game for a group of people I knew. And like all good games, we had a session zero. I ran through the basic questions, helped with character creation, helped to teach the system despite barely knowing it myself, and most importantly, tried to establish boundaries for everyone. I asked what everyone would be comfortable with and gave some mild examples. I'd even be willing to avoid combat or death if it was something that would bother someone, but everyone just said that they were good with whatever came along, and that they didn't have anything they wanted to avoid. I said that I didn't really mind anything, and I was willing to go outside of my own comfort zone in order to make a fun game, but if it got to be too severe that I wouldn't narrate it, but just acknowledge that it happened and move on. Our first sessions were filled with the players using dismemberment, severe torture, forced ending of life, and such creative ideas as tying goblins together by the hair and lighting them on fire. Forced cannibalism for the prisoners, so as not to waste their own food, poisoning of food supplies so that they could watch an eating contest rapidly fall apart, etc. Holy moly. As far as everything went, they were pretty okay with how they were playing, and said they had fun. I framed everything as kind of goofy to try and avoid the severe nature of what they were doing, but edge is edge, and eventually it cuts. A new player was invited, the centaur, so I decided to host a session 0.5, helped with character creation slash character updates, summed up the campaign so far, and revisited boundaries. I explained to the new player everything that had happened and asked if that crossed any of their limits. They said no. I asked anyone else if they would like to re-establish their boundaries now that they were more familiar with how things worked, and was met with some general silence. So I asked again, and everyone responded with a generalized, It's all good! Next session, the centaur meets the party traveling on the road looking for work. After some light discourse, they are ambushed by goblins. The centaur told me that they were making non-lethal attacks against the goblins. This made me smile, as it was kind of nice, and it would lead to some neat roleplay. I was wrong. After the battle was over, they tied up the survivors individually. The centaur said that they were going to pick up one of the goblins and wake it up. I described the goblin waking up in fear, being captured by the group of people they just tried to attack. The centaur character then said they proceeded to assault the goblin to death. What? Oh my goodness. Naturally, I was caught very off guard and simply responded with an, All right then, he has died. <laughs> what is what is wrong with play? I can't... It's not even funny. I, I'm just so... I'm just so like... I'm just so at my end with this stuff that I just... I, I, I think I've lost it. I think I've just lost my mind. Okay. The player begins to graphically describe their horse genitalia, literally tearing the goblins' insides, and begins to peer pressure other players to try to do the same. And some of them did. The Kenku and Half-Orc just kind of went with it, though there was a hint of discomfort in their voice. I told myself that I was just caught off guard, and they said nothing was really off limits in Session Zero, so it's probably just me. They proceeded to wake up, and then assault to death every goblin they had captured. Oh my goodness, why? 
I kind of brushed it under the rug. As I said, I wouldn't narrate things that made me uncomfortable, but I was still willing to facilitate the game. The rest of the season was filled with assault, necrophilia, and a severe focus on castration. Which a lovely bunch of dudes. Or lads. You chick. You chick. You pick. You pick. You chick. You pick. I can't even speak right now. I'm just flabbergasted. When the session was over... I was asked by the centaur player why I wasn't narrating their moments of less than normal escapades. I explained again that I simply didn't narrate stuff that I was uncomfortable with. The player freaks out and starts taking it like a personal attack on themselves and starts accusing me of bigotry, sexism, and racism in front of everyone, which thankfully and somewhat wholesomely confused the rest of the players who came to my aid and defended me against her rants of targeting her in combat because she's LGBT+, not narrating her actions because she's a woman. And when asked by the half-elf about how I was even being racist, she responded with, paraphrasing here, He's obviously discriminating against me because I'm a centaur and not some normal race. Ah, after every accusation was thrown at me, leaving me flabbergasted, <laughs> I as well, for the sudden shift in tone and topic, I just left, not wanting to fan the flames of argument and felt like crap for having a part in ruining a game that people were enjoying. You didn't ruin anything, my friend. I was later texted by a few players who explained that they had lied in the session zero about not having boundaries because they didn't want to be the person who was the wimp or ruin the fun of the game and asked if I was still willing to DM. After everything was said and done, I started a new game with the Dragonborn, Kenku, and Half-Orc with some actual boundaries set in Session Zero that's still going to this day. Remember, always participate in Session Zero, and if you meet a problem player like this one, don't let it ruin your experience. Talk with your players and move on without them. Yes. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I just... Uh, man, I just... I don't even... I, I'm just... I'm shocked. I mean, I get it. Like, you didn't want to... You didn't want to be a buzzkill and everyone thought they were just you know they didn't want to be buzzkills but there's just a line and it's just, I don't even understand that point of the game were they trying to be like vikings or something you know just the pillaging stuff I don't know it's just it's awkward it just seems like it doesn't progress the game at all to assault goblins to death I guess it's just edgy I don't know just I don't know, it just, it just doesn't seem appropriate and this is, I don't know, that's my take on it anyways good for you though for ending that and you know it gets to a point where it's 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 more it's, it's you're not just uncomfortable not to like just you're like i'm not i'm not comfortable describing it so i'm not going to but it gets to a point where you just hear it so often that you're just not even comfortable in general and at that point you should either say something or quit and it's okay to just quit i guess you know because that's just kind of i don't know it's just weird it's just not very I don't know. Some people are just into some gruesome stuff, I guess. It's, you can probably thank the internet for desensitizing people, but it is what it is, and I'm glad you found some good players to play with, and you can continue on, and you all learned your lesson about communicating honestly what you like and don't like. Anyways, that concludes our tale for today. If you'd like to hear another, come back and I shall tell you one.